Hey guys, welcome back to La Shack Cuisine. In today's video, I'm going to be feeding the fish in my planter tank some bloodworms. Now, usually I never feed bloodworms to any of my aquarium fish because of all the risks it involves. But today, I'm going to be trying a new product. It's the Bubbles and Troubles Frozen Sterilized Bloodworms. I'll tell you what I liked about this fish food, what I didn't like about it. And also, I'll show you how I added it to my tank so you get a fair bit of idea of how your fish will react uh, to this food in case you plan on buying it. It's considered to be safe because it is UV sterilized uh, the worms have been sterilized internally and externally and it is free from all the parasites that you would usually get in live blood worms the only reason I have to feed my uh, planted tanks with blood worms right now is a few days ago I went ahead and got some bumblebee uh, gobies I made a video on that as well if you haven't watched that I'll link I'll share the link in the description below you can go and watch that after watching this video Bumblebee gobies are very finicky eaters they're uh, very picky eaters they don't usually eat pellets at all and the ones I got are very tiny so they weren't accepting any uh, pellets they were accepting some live earthworms but it wasn't going to be practical for me to feed them live earthworms every time because i had to go and hunt for them so i thought about like going ahead and getting some blood worms now usually there are three types of blood worms sold in uh, aquarium hobby there's the live blood worms there's a the frozen blood worm, and then the sterilized blood worms now i'm sure most of us have gone to the aquarium stores and bought these fire rupees small packets of blood worms come and add it to the tank and seen it's so uh, you know uh, the fish eat it so aggressively but uh, just to tell you and for those obviously i know most of you know but for those of you who don't know and who are new to the hobby never ever feed uh, live worms to your fish may it be tubifex worms or blood worms especially if you're culturing the worms guys it's a totally different story but feeding worms uh, that uh, you know you don't know the source that is coming from usually at least in India the source of these blood worms and TV fix worms are usually gutters because uh, blood worms can survive in the least oxygenated water and the and very polluted water as well so these guys will just go and source these blood worms from gutters and you know sewages and they'll get it to you at fish stores they you know wash it up a little because the water you see in the fish stores will be clean but you get it home the blood worms will obviously have the bacteria and parasites inside them when you add it to the tank the fish will uh, you know instinctively eat the blood worms but later it will cause some parasite problems it will cause bacterial infections uh, you know it can even cause death of your fish so never feed blood worms i never recommend feeding live blood worms the second type of blood worms we get in the market are the frozen blood worms now the frozen blood worms is also not very very safe because what they do in frozen blood worms is they take the uh, live blood worms they wash it wash it wash it they do a two or three times water wash then they soak it in some potassium permanganate they give it a pp bath or they give it a betadine bath and they just freeze it so again that is just an external method of sterilization it's only clean from the outside and soon as it enters your uh, fish tank you come and add it again the fish will because they are blood worms the fish will still eat the frozen blood worms as well as they eat the live blood worms but as you see when the fish eats the blood worms it is going to fall sick in a while because all the bacteria is still in the blood worm stomach now, third type of blood worm the sterilized blood worms that's what the bubbles and troubles folks right here are using the uv sterilized uh, blood worms so as i mentioned uh, earlier they are sterilized internally and externally and also these blood worms are fortified with beta carotene and spirulina and also vitamin c it's mentioned on the packet so obviously you're getting the goodness not only of the blood worms the protein not only of the blood worms that you're also getting the goodness of spirulina and beta carotene and vitamin c which is going to be good for your fish now uh, to talk about my first impressions on the packaging itself i've mentioned it on the dewormer video i made of bubbles and troubles and i really like how bubbles and troubles pays so much attention to the packaging of their products it's always very very well packed and uh, this is something you can easily keep it in your deep freezer without getting shouting from your parents because uh, I know usually when we get the frozen blood worms from the market or from our local sources they are always packed in these clear see-through bags and when you add it to the deep freezer uh, I have at least got a lot of shouting for adding uh, you know blood worms and type of artemia and all in see-through bags in my deep freezer because we are hobbyists and we don't have a depth separate freezer right to keep all our fish food so yeah if you are if you don't want to get shouting from your parents for keeping worms in your fridge this is something you can obviously go for because it's packed very well 
So now let's go ahead and add the blood worms directly to my aquarium. I'll show you the reaction of my fish so you get a fair bit of idea of uh, how the fish react to these blood worms as well. Now to feed the blood worms, I'm going to be using my aquarium tweezers. You can use any tweezers. Now better than the hand, it's obviously going to be using these tweezers. And you can just put the tweezer in and easily, you know, pick out the amount you need. So <clears throat> I'm not going to be feeding too much to my uh, aquarium. I'm just going to be feeding a little. I'm obviously not going to be feeding them blood worms every day but let's go for it right now and as you can see they directly go for it but what i want to see is if the bumblebee gobi eats this oh wow there's a shrimp eating it right now okay i'm going to try adding the blood worms directly near the bumblebee gobi And yeah, he's eating it. So let's go ahead and also add it to my neon tank and see if they accept it as well. And yeah. Okay, they're eating it as well. So finally I'm done feeding my fish guys and you've seen how they reacted to the food. I'm really happy that the bumblebee gobies have started eating something and now I have a food source for them. I will be feeding these blood worms at least uh, once in two or three days. I won't be feeding the blood worms every single day. But to make it clear again, I don't feed my discus fish blood worms at all and I'm not going to be feeding them blood worms, even these blood worms. But now coming to the good things that I liked and what I didn't like about this product. Firstly, the good thing is the fish readily accept it. It is, uh, as you've seen, they go for it very well and that's something that every hobbyist wants. He wants his fish to aggressively eat the food. Uh, secondly, it is uh, fortified with beta carotene and spirulina and vitamin C as well. So that makes it a better overall food rather than just getting frozen blood worms. The third thing I'd like to mention is obviously the packaging. I like the packaging a lot so the one thing i didn't like about this product is it doesn't have any expiry date mentioned on it i know it says store in a freezer for maximum shelf life but i would still as a user want to see what is the expiry date till when i can use it obviously it's a very big packet right and even if i have five tanks i'm feeding them only to tetras so when i have even i mean 30 or 40 tetras here they aren't going to be able to finish this packet of worms even in a month so it's going to take a long time the quantity is really good that bubbles and troubles has provided but it's going to take a long time to finish these worms so i would appreciate a expiry date added to the packet but that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to lush aqua bye bye take care